was Wednesday, June 11th at around 9.30 a.m. when an unknown female entered the 7-Eleven located at 2936 Radcliffe Drive southeast. She produced a plastic bag and approached the clerk and then produced also a weapon and demanded cash. At that time, the clerk uh, just decided to enter uh, the back room of the store and at this time the female offender fled. The suspect is described as a dark-skinned female, 20 to 30 years old, 5'6", and weighing about 120 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. She was wearing a grey hoodie, black sweatpants, black shoes with white trim. On Monday, June 16th at 9pm, an unknown male entered the liquor bank at 101 3509 17th Ave Southeast. Selected a bottle of vodka and left the store without making any attempt to pay. At that time, the clerk approached the offender, and at this time, the offender produced a weapon and threatened the, the clerk. And at this time, the offender then uh, fled the scene. The clerk then contacted the police to report what happened. The suspect is described as a black male around 25 years old. He was bald with a mustache and had a very distinct nose. On August 5th, 2014, at approximately 3.30 in the morning, uh, a male was sleeping in a motorhome that was parked uh, behind a residence in the 1700 block of 35th Street in an alleyway. Uh, he was woken by the sounds of gunfire, and when he exited his motorhome, he observed three males fleeing the scene. These photos were taken from surveillance footage from a local watering hole across the street where the incident took place. Some of the bullets did hit the motorhome. Luckily, there were no injuries. Calgary police are also looking for information regarding a break and enter in the city southeast. On July 5th, 2014, in the Aaron Woods area, we had a nighttime break and enter where an unknown offender entered via uh, unlocked basement window. Uh, the offender began uh, rummaging through the residence where one of the home occupants was awoken. Uh, this person then confronted the offender who then was scared off and fled the residence. Nighttime break and enters continue to occur throughout the city and residents need to protect their property and themselves from being a target. On Thursday, May 29th, police were called to the Forest Lawn area after two violent assaults took place within about an hour of each other. The first one involved two young teenage males who were walking along 17th Avenue Southeast in about the 4800 block. Uh, they were randomly approached by a male who was nonsensical, arguing, yelling, and at that time he uh, produced a machete, which we believe uh, he had hidden on his person, uh, and attacked one of the males. Uh, the young fellow uh, suffered a, a fairly significant injury to his hand, uh, but was able to flee the area and contact police. A composite sketch of the offender has been released to the public. Shortly after the first incident, two men and a woman were walking in the area and they were attacked the same way by what police believed to be the same offender. With this person not being known to us or to the victims, this is a, a complete stranger random attack. And of course, that's, ma that's a major concern for the Calgary Police Service uh, because we can't uh, predict or we hope that this doesn't happen again, but of course we have to plan that it might. The male suspect is described as an Aboriginal or Middle Eastern descent and in his mid-twenties. At the time of the attack, he was wearing a dark hoodie and black baggy pants. This criminal could hit again and the violence could escalate. Investigators need your help in solving these crimes in District 4. Now, Crime Stoppers could pay you a cash award of up to $2,000 for information on these or any unsolved crimes, the recovery of stolen property, drugs, or the arrest of any wanted person. Your tips are anonymous and completely confidential. You can talk, type, or text your information in. For Go Calgary, I'm Lisa Walansky.